Good day! I am Teacher Ruben and welcome to Math Amazing! Can you move on? There is still a lot of things to be developed. And one of these is our main school game. As you can see, it is built with the semi ellipse art, which is not quite enough for the traps to enter. With that, I made a problem. The front gate of Wow National High School is built with the semi ellipse art, measuring 15 feet as its maximum height and the base of 10 feet wide. The possible height of the semi ellipse art on the trap to enter the gate is 9 feet. What is the width of the trap? Before answering, did you know that ellipse is the locus of all those points in a plane, such that the sum of their distances from the two fixed points in the plane is constant? The fixed points are known as the cosine, which are surrounded by the curve. These are the examples of ellipse in real life. Back to the problem. If we are going to put it into the Cartesian coordinate plane, it looks like this 15 feet high, 10 feet wide. The possible height of the same ellipse art, which is 9 feet. So, we are going to find this one. From the illustration, since it is vertically oriented and the center is at new region, then our equation is x squared over b squared plus y squared over e squared is equal to 1. And the major axis is equal to 15 and the minor axis is equal to 5. Just substitute the value of our b and a respectively, it will become 5 squared and 15 squared. Simplify it, it will become 25 and 225. This is our new equation now. Since 9 feet is the possible height of the semi ellipse arm with the trap that entered the beam, then we can interpret it as y is equal to 9 and we're going to find the value of our x. So back to our equation, just substitute the value for y, it will become 9 squared. Simplify it, it will become 81. Simplify the fraction 81 over 120 to the lowest term, it will become 9 over 25. Simplify the equation by multiplying both sides by 25, it will become x1 plus 9 is equal to 25. Combining like terms, then it will become x1 is equal to 16. Square root both sides, you get the value of x, it will become x is equal to positive and negative 4. Since there is no negative wing of the trap, therefore x is equal to 4. To get the wheel of the trap, just multiply the value of x by 2 since we start at the origin, it will yield by 8. Therefore, the wheel of the trap that can enter the wheel is 8 bit. Problem solved! Thank you for watching! See you again at Math Amazing!